How you doing? Small Town Preparedness here. I'm Darren. Thanks for checking out my video today. I really appreciate it. Today, um, what we're going to be talking about is getting your significant other, whether it be a girlfriend, fiance, wife, husband, whoever, okay, involved into firearms. With me, I've had a girlfriend now for a little over a year. Very lucky, man. She's an awesome, awesome, amazing woman. She truly is. She was very, very afraid of firearms. People in the past, I guess, have tried to get her to shoot. She refused, wouldn't even touch the gun. Um, I'm not sure what their method was of trying to get her to shoot, but regardless, she refused to touch it. Um, I asked her, why are you so afraid of firearms? That's one of the biggest things, I think. You know, you need to get down to the nitty-gritty of it. You know, and for me, it's been a year-long process of firearm education, you know, introducing her to firearms without actually trying to force her, you know, to shoot the firearm or touch it or whatever. You know, she would watch me shoot, and she felt totally safe with that, you know, because I was the one doing the shooting. And she enjoy, actually enjoyed watching it. But, you know, little at a time, I educated her. And, because I don't want to force the issue. You don't want to force anything onto anybody, you know. Um, she had said she was always taught from a very young age that guns are bad. That guns are harmful. Okay. And they cause harm to other people. Which is why you don't touch them. You don't mess with them. And with education, and just teaching her correctly, guns are not the enemy. They are not instruments of destruction. It is the person behind the trigger. You know, that is who makes the decisions on where that ammunition is going to shoot. I, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but never once have I ever seen, you know, an AR-15 or an AK-47 hop down the street and then just randomly point at somebody out in their yard and shoot them. And if you did, if you have seen that, please tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Or if you have the video, I'll give you 20 bucks to see it. <laughs> um, but what I'm trying to convey to her now is that guns, should, firearms should not be feared. They should be respected. I think there's a big difference between fear and respect. Um, with respect, that fear goes away. And you learn that, yes, you can cause, you as a person, can cause serious damage with a firearm. But the firearm itself is not what causes the damage. But that, that, you know, that made me start thinking a little bit deeper. What about all the people today? Um, you know, that want to confiscate firearms, that want to strip them away from everybody and strip everybody's Second Amendment rights away from them. Maybe it was the way they grew up. Maybe it was how they were taught. Maybe with proper gun education, you know, they are not going to act the way they act. Because um, some of these people, like, they don't even want to talk about it. They, they're like, I don't know anything about guns. I've never touched a gun. All I know is they're bad, and we need to take them all away. Well, no. <laughs> I mean, how can you say you want to take something away when you're not even educated on the subject? It, it, it's ludicrous. It doesn't make sense. But as I was thinking, I was thinking maybe, you know, that is a reason why there's so many people that try to cry out you know, oh, we got to get rid of the guns. No, you just need to learn how to respect it, and you need to learn about it, you know. But, um, yesterday, um, Miss Small Town Preparedness, that's what I call her, you know, offset reasons. Um, I don't give out her name on YouTube. She, uh, out of what, six shots, I think she hit the target four times, which was great. You know, and I didn't want to press the issue. You know, she shot it six times. I was super proud of her. And she was like, that's enough for today. And I'm like, cool, no problem. 
that's enough for today. And in the car, you know, we, she was actually really excited about it. We were talking about, you know, getting some new targets for her to use, you know, the type of targets she would like to use. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going to work out pretty good. You know, we and now with this, though, you want to start out small. She started using my 22 Savage, my 22 LR Savage. Um, you know, it has very, very little kickback, almost no noise. And I think that's one thing, too, that a lot of people are afraid of because she said when she pulled the trigger, she didn't know what to expect. So I wanted to start out with something small, you know. And she's going to shoot that 22 for a while, you know, until she gets used to it, until she is completely confident in loading, unloading, you know, cleaning the gun, checking it out, making sure it's not loaded, all that, okay? Then maybe we'll move her up to something else, you know? We'll maybe start thinking about a pistol, you know, maybe a 22 pistol or possibly a 380 or 9 millimeter. Um, you know, we'll start off there and start getting her comfortable with that. You know, I don't want to take her from a 22 to like a 44 or a 357 Magnum. That's going to be shell shock for her, and she probably would completely lose interest in using a firearm. You know, it's it's a step by step process. Um, that's the way I've seen it, and so far that's working out really well. Um, she, when she first met me, she was like, "What the heck, this crazy guy? You know, that's into preparedness and everything else." But when you start talking to her about things, you know, when you start teaching her about certain things, well, he or she, whoever it may be, you know, you open their eyes to things like, wow, yeah, you know, be, because of the flooding, you know what I mean, that we had in the plains and stuff like that, you know, there, there are definite food shortages, the cost of food, at least here in Ohio, have went up slightly, it hasn't been a huge increase, but it has went up slightly. Um, which is why I've been telling a lot of people, you know, you got to start stocking up on food, you know, and if, if not for the preparedness factor, just for the financial aspect of it, because if you can get it cheaper now, why do you want to pay more later? Of course, within your budget, what you can afford, um, because I know budgets are tight. Uh, I work five jobs. I, I know how it is. You know, I have a full time, one full time job and four part time jobs. So, you know, and then on top of that, where I live, I'm actually running for an elected position. So I know what it's like to, you know, always be working and always on the go. Um, but with this, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this today. And what are your ideas? Um, what is your philosophy on getting somebody involved in firearms that was always too afraid. Um, I feel, like I said before, I feel that we need to start instilling respect for a firearm instead of instilling fear. Um, you know, start them out small and have them gradually work their way up. But also, don't forget, I do have a giveaway going on right now. You can check out that video and learn the contest rules. It ends at 11.59 p.m. on August 31st. Um, you have to share my channel and get people involved, you know, cause I'm trying to get some subscribers. So if you can, please help me out, you know, share my channel, get me out there. All right, guys, as usual, it was great to talk to you and remember events, big or small, make sure you prepare for it all. Take it easy.